I'm Shauna Coronado. Welcome to the Garden Studio. I'm so glad you're here today because we are talking wellness and succulents, both keeping your succulents well and also keeping yourself well. There is nothing worse than dragging hoses around your garden. It hurts your back. It hurts my back. I have severe osteoarthritis and I've learned that the best way to get through the summer is to have to water less. And a succulent is a great way to do that. When you plant your succulents up in the early spring or early summer, you can leave them outside all season and then bring them in for the winter and they become a year round container garden of love. All right, the secret for good soil for your succulents is well draining soil. That is the key. That means that you really need to amend your regular soil. This potting soil, is beyond peat, peat free soil. So it's better for the environment. It also has a little bit of organic fertilizer in it. So you don't need to fertilize when you plant these succulents. In fact, uh, you don't need to fertilize heavily in, in, at any rate in your succulents or your cactus. So this works out as a really great medium to mix and make your own soil. This is what pumice looks like. It's heavier than perlite. So I want to make sure that you understand there is a difference. Perlite and pumice both add aeration into the soil and, and it's great for cactus soil, but perlite might float to the top because it's super lightweight. If you can't find perlite, you can't find pumice, you can't find any of that, then try chicken grit. Chicken grit is a great mix to mix in. Mix it to the same proportions, about half and half, half soil, and half of your pumice or chicken grit. All right, now we mix it up. Now, if you have very delicate succulents like these, it might need more moisture. So look at your plants, understand if it's a thick leaf, a thin leaf, a cactus, or what is it? Does it need a little more moisture? If it does, then maybe add a little more soil. But I think we're really good with this mix. When you get the container that you want, and this one is quite wide, you can tell. It is low, and it's not too deep, and it's very wide. You must have a drainage hole in the bottom. You can see the drainage hole right here. The reason a drainage hole is so important is because if you do not have a drainage hole, then your cactus will drown. You don't, you don't want your succulents to drown, the poor babies. So here we have a deliciously delightful mound that will work just fine. Now we're going to position all of the cactus. So this crested cactus is top heavy and does not want to sit well in the container. So a trick with that is to put a rock next to your cactus. So I'm going to put a rock kind of in the back of this guy. You can wrap a plastic bag around your cactus and hold it so that it does not prickle you. So awesome. This really works. Loosen the roots up and then find a spot for him. We're going to put him along the front edge, I think right here. The tool that we're using that really works effectively is a tong. And I very gently will use the tongs to push and pull, pull and get this in place. Now for the little, for little plants, I use the surgical tongs. And for the bigger plants, I use bigger tongs. I have no idea what this cactus variety is right here. I just like him because he's blue. And then we have an older Haworthia. These are roots. Tuck them in. Just tuck them in with your, your push em -erator. Tuck them in with anything that you have. A stick works also. Here is an aloe I'm planting. This is called a Cooper Spoons. And my daughter sent this to me from England. Love the Cooper Spoons. I'm going to tuck this in the back so that from all sides, you'll have a little bit of a view. If you're concerned about the 
pumice coming off or pebbles, whatever you put on the top. You can always top it with something else that's a little heavier. I'm Shauna Coronado. Thanks for joining me today in my garden studio. I hope you love my little succulent container. I have rescued these guys and they're going to look great on my patio. Remember to use soil that is peat free, good for the environment, and good for your succulents.